Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator, the original. And I had gotten a request from one of my viewers to see if there was any way I could see if I could get a pumpkin seed. Apparently, they have been unable to catch these little guys. There are recently added species to this game. There's been a, quite a few new species added. For instance, in Betty Lake, which is where we are at the moment, they recently added the burbot, the eyed, and the pumpkin seed. Those three are brand new, and I have caught the burbot and the eyed before, but the pumpkin seed is one I have yet to catch. I wasn't going after anything really small, and I can kind of see why, because just coming in here briefly, looking around, it's so full of trout, if trying to locate one little small fish would be kind of difficult. So we may have to try it here, and then head over to one of the other lakes to see if they can be found only three lakes that actually have them. I think uh, the what is it, Ross Lake? Let me see. I'm not sure. Yeah, I know Betty Lake has them. It says right down here. I'm just doing it in winter time so that I can actually go out across the the way. Plus, I haven't done ice fishing here for quite a while. Uh, Powell Lake. That's the other one I think that has the pumpkin seeds. And St. Zeno's does not. It may be just those two, because I'm looking here and I'm not seeing any, yeah, those are the only two lakes that have them. You'd think they'd be there, because they got bass and they've got bluegill, but they don't have pumpkin seed. Huh, that's interesting. But yeah, I'm looking through here and I'm not seeing them anywhere else. Obviously they wouldn't be in Japan or Thailand, or Topo Lake. Yep, these are, this is it. You can either catch them here or catch them at Powell Lake. And Powell Lake does not have a winter fishing capability, so... And I am going to adjust the time a little bit because... No, actually, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. I was afraid it was going to be too dark. But it looked like they were kind of close to the shore over here. I did see something small. I'm not sure why I'm not getting any. Oh, okay, I need to put some bait on there. Well, one thing I will tell you, I did go through all the baits that the pumpkin seed go after, and men, I mean, they go for quite a few things. But this is the only one, that the only species here that goes for the marshmallows is the burbot. Other than that, it's just a bluegill and the pumpkin seed. Bluegill are not found here, so... That might give us an edge. But let me get this back to where it should be. Let's see here. Okay, I had the wrong rod out here. Let's see, where is... There they are. Equip. Alright, we're going to try looking at our hunter vision and see if we see anything small. That looks like one right there. That looks like one. That actually might be it. Well, let's go ahead and do some drilling here. And on this game, you actually do the drilling yourself. And we'll see if we can't... Yep, there's definitely something looks bluegill or pumpkin seed like 
Yeah, I'm using a number 12 hook, so it's got to be as small as possible. Should tell me that everything's proper. Yep. So we just need to wait and see if something goes for it. Now we could get a burbot, but other than that, I don't think anything else goes for this. So hopefully, these aren't just bluegill. I think bluegill are found here too. That's the problem. It's. Well, it looks like I'd go for them. I did. I don't remember them saying that. I did. Huh. Okay. Well, I don't get any extra points for releasing them, so I'm just going to... It looked like they were kind of deep, honestly. There we go. I think we might have one. Yes, we do. There he goes. Teeny little fish, but that's a pumpkin seed. We got one. Oh, just a second one. Not bad. Yeah, they're not worth much, obviously, but if you're like me, you like to catch every species in a, at a lake. I wish we had a better look at that. Let me see if I can control the time of day. I can't as long as I got him. Okay, we'll keep him. Let me see if I can't increase the light here. There we go. That's better. We'll see if we can get another one. So I'd go for him too. That's interesting. I'm not sure what that is, but it actually could be a burbot. So it's proper. Another eyed. Which I don't really mind so much because they are kind of new too. The burbot's the only other one that is brand new. I doubt the burbot's going to go for this because the hook is kind of small. We'll have to see. Nope, there's our pumpkin seed. Oh, he's a decent pumpkin seed, too. Look how pretty he is. Look how pretty that little fella is. Now, that's a nice one. Well, that is cool. Yeah, you only got five bucks, but... A little more light here. There we go. Yeah, now we can see even better. Now that looks like some kind of a trout to me. Lots of cutthroat. Seems like cutthroat is the most commonly caught here. I would say rainbow or second. I believe there are brown trout here too, but I'm not 100% certain. I have to check a look at the list. Dang it, gone. Okay, I think I found the spot. There we go. I wish I could get a better view of him though. New record. He's 0.77 pounds, six dollars. Okay, let me try something here, guys. Let me go ahead and stop fishing for a second. Okay, let's get in this position. We already know we found them, so Yeah, you can keep using the same hole, just reposition yourself. But I think we're going to be able to see it better. I want to get a better look at them and their colors, because I'm kind of getting them in shadow. They definitely go for the marshmallows, so whichever viewer had put that comment at the end of my video, that's what you need to use. You will get these guys too. Don't know if you're going for them, but marshmallows are cheap. You also need to take it down a little ways. It seems like pumpkin seed like to be a little bit lower on the water table than the bluegill do. Oh, 
Oh, now that's a nice one. In fact, he's... He might be the biggest one I've caught yet. Yep, new record. 0 0.80 pounds. Now we get a good look at him. See the colors? That's a pretty little fish. Yeah, they're tiny, but they are beautiful little fish. Yeah, I ended up going up on my little thing, uh, trophy thing. Now, as far as the burbot go, I imagine we'd find them a little bit deeper. That's where the hunter vision comes in handy. If you don't have hunter vision, you're going to have to kind of... Well, you can use that spot. I don't think I have any way of setting coordinates here, though. But if it helps, we're just right here at the very end. Come in a little ways. I mean, there's a rock over there and a stump as landmarks. That's about the best we can do on that. I'm going to see if there's anything that looks like it's down deep. And that looks all like trout to me. None of them look deep. Yeah, the only thing about the ice fishing is there's a lot of glare. Sometimes better to do this in the early morning or the late evening because trying to do it in the middle of the day, it's so bright white it's hard to see. Okay, we've got... I'm not sure what that is. That's a thick-bodied fish. In fact, I might just check it out here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start drilling here. Alright. Now we do have other rods here. This one's a little bit heavier. It goes up to, oh wow, a lot heavier, <laughs> 66 pounds. Yeah, it might be too heavy. I don't know. Let's see. What's this one? 17 pounds. So we should be fine with that. I'm going to try to see if I can't get a bigger hook on here. Not that big. Maybe like a number two. Let's go with a number two and see if that's going to match anything. It should for burbot. And again, this is kind of burbot central, so... I'm not seeing any fish in our area, though. It does say it's proper. Man, I'm not seeing very many fish around here, honestly. Hmm. Looks like they moved. Yeah, let's bring it up. I think I'm going to move. Okay, it looks like there's a lot more of them over here. Yeah, if I don't see any here soon, I might go down a little bit further because I think the burbot are on the exact opposite side where I found the pumpkin seed. At least we're seeing fish now. Now that looks like a night over there, so we might get a bite. Up oh, there it is. Yes. We got one. And he's not little. See how long bodied they are, though? Man. He 
He is not coming in real easy. Oh, we got him though. There we are. They look a lot like a catfish. They basically fill the same niche that a catfish fills in higher altitudes and colder places. He was $77. Weight 11.05 pounds. He is not my record though. I have caught these fellows before. Not sure that I caught him here though. Again, I want to get a little bit better position because I want to get better lighting, but at least we know they're here. But that's what you really got to do. If you want to just get those certain species, you got to really try to find something that's going to single them out. And the marshmallow single out both the pumpkin seed and the burbot. And apparently the eyed. <laughs> So we'll see if we can get another one. I keep seeing things swimming around that look a lot like I though, so not so sure about that. Okay, that sudden change of color, I'm betting you. Let me take the camera back out. Yeah, I think we're in getting in a storm. Yeah, there's changes in weather patterns here now. That's one of the big changes they made to the game recently. Is that the only burbot in the area? Yeah, I think some of the fish have moved on a little bit. Could have been the weather change. Yeah, see the storm? Well, let's see here. Let's move down a little bit. Got to look for a long-bodied fish. Longer than these guys. Yeah, I think last time I caught my record was over here. But I did it in the daytime, so I mean, not the daytime, but the summertime. We got some kind of big fish right there. I don't know what that is. That could be a burbot down there. Yeah, that could be a burbot down there. Let's go ahead and do a set our drill here. Okay, that's a big trout. There he is. Yeah, they seem to be at this far end. For some reason, that's where they hang out. And he might be bigger than the last one. I have to let him take a little bit of it. Okay, we got him. We got him. Oh, he is a new record. Very cool. A hundred dollar one. And now we get a good look at him. See that little, he's got one little barbel on the bottom of his chin. And he's got this mottled coloration. But very catfish-like. All right.
right. Well, guys, that is it. Basically, wanted to show you guys that. Now, I'm probably going to come over here and do some more fishing, but haven't really, like I said, tried Betty Lake much in the winter time. So I thought I'd give it a try as well. Plus, the pumpkin seed thing kind of gave me the push to go, and I found them. Like I said, they were down on that end, and then on this end, obviously, are the burbot. But if you look at the map here. This end is where you have a little tributary coming in. It's also where you can find a lot of the, the uh, used to be brook trout, if I'm not mistaken, because they come off of that little tributary. But I think those big ones I was seeing was probably bull trouts. That's my guess. But there are brown trouts here, too. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.